Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is alexccampbell.com. Uh, just had an interesting email uh, from a guy. He responded to one of my videos. I don't think he's a barber, but uh, I think he might be a somewhat disgruntled customer or unsatisfied customer. And he sounds like he's had a pretty bad experience with barbers. So what he wanted me to do is speak about the lack of professionalism in the barber industry. Uh, because listening to him, he sounds like he's tired of barbers who, when he's getting his hair cut, the barbers walk outside and they're talking on the cell phone and they don't make their appointments on time. They don't stick to schedule. I mean, they're eating while they're cutting his hair and, you know, a lot of different things that apparently he's upset with. And, and you know, he has his right to be. Uh, so uh, I just want to kind of give you guys some tips on, you know, professionalism and how to take care of your customers. I know for me, you know, I, I stress being on time. You know, I do appointments. I'm strictly appointments. Uh, Walk-ins, it's very rare that I can get a walk-in, but my customers are all spoiled. Okay, they set an appointment. They're so comfortable knowing that when they walk in the door, they're going to be next in that chair. My customers, I try my best to stick to a schedule to where my customers don't have to wait more than five or ten minutes when they get to the barbershop. If they have to wait longer than that, they get upset because my customers are spoiled. I've been doing appointments for years. My customers can count on me. Okay. I don't talk about customers to customers. Okay. You don't do that. Try to be on time. You know, if you got a customer that's being quiet, you be quiet. If you got a customer that's talkative, you, you be talkative. You have to mirror your customer. You have to make your customer feel comfortable. You know, the worst, I remember I used to work with this guy. He would be cutting somebody's hair, and he literally, in the middle of the haircut, would lay the clippers down, pick up his cell phone, and just walk outside and walk up and down the sidewalk for 10 or 15 minutes while the customer's sitting in the chair. Now, guys, I'm not saying you can't take a phone call, but at least let the customer know. See, this is all about communication. A lot of barbers, you guys have horrible communication skills. You're arrogant about the things that you do. You think that you got it made or got it sold up to the point where the customer can't find another barber. That's garbage. You have to treat that customer like you would want to be treated whenever you go to a restaurant to eat some food. If the waitress came to your table and asked you for your order, in the middle of your order, <clears throat> in the middle of your order, the waitress sits the pad down that she's writing the order on. She sits it down on your table and she just walks away. She walks outside, she disappears for about 30 minutes. Then she comes back and she picks the pad and says, okay, well, what was your order? I think that would piss you off. So, you know, you got to understand customers feel the same way. You need to treat your customer exactly how you would like to be treated. I know if I was a customer and I'm getting my hair cut and you just walked off and didn't say, excuse me, I'll be back in a few minutes, communicate something to me, I wouldn't pay you for your haircut. I wouldn't care what you thought because I'm the kind of person I treat you how you treat me. Okay. I'm a very fair person. Okay. I'm a very kind hearted person. But if you cross me and you be disrespectful to me, I'm going to give you back the same energy that you gave me because I don't deserve to be treated that way. Just like a paying customer who's very consistent doesn't deserve to be treated that way. You know, wash your hands. You know, don't go eat and come back and cut somebody's hair. You trimming up the mustache. They smell hot wings all on your fingers. Your fish, I mean, your, your fingers smell like fish and french fries and your breath smell like onions. You know what I'm saying? Put some mouthwash in your mouth, man. You know, brush your teeth whenever before you go and sit down and talking to a customer. People can smell your breath. You know, this is a very up close and personal business. You have to be professional at all times. How would you like if a doctor was sit or a matter of yeah, if a doctor was uh, uh, operating on you and all you could smell was garlic on his breath or you could smell onions on his gloves? Come on, man. Y'all need to step your game up now. All y'all talking about you want to make $100,000 a year? Well, you're going to have to have a professionalism about yourself that will attract those type of clients. There's a lot of people out here willing to pay $20 and $30 for a haircut. But hell, they ain't going to give it to you if you're walking outside and you're being inconsiderate, you're being unprofessional. You know, you have to be serious about your craft. So for that customer to say that to me, 
and lets me know he's experienced something like that. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably don't want to hear this, but I don't care. But I got my stuff together. You know, my client, I keep an appointment book with me everywhere I go. So no matter what time of day it is, I can take appointments. I'm going to be on time. I book my appointments every 30 minutes. My customers count on me. They know I'm going to be on time. They know I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. Okay, they know I'm very clean. They know, I mean, they're comfortable. They trust me. My clients and I, we have a relationship. Clients, these are clients. They're just not customers. These are my clients. A customer comes and go. A customer might come in, get a cut, not come back. I have a clientele. These clients come to me and they keep coming back to me. And I've built a rapport. I've built a relationship with these people. We talk. We have a relationship. So, you know, just be careful, man. You know, stay off the cell phones, man. Stay off the cell phones. Don't walk outside when you got a customer in a chair unless it's an emergency, but communicate that to the customer. Excuse me, Mr. Client. I have a very important phone call. I need to step outside for about five minutes. Do you mind? Thank you. And I mean, that's not hard, but some of y'all are so arrogant in your ways. You just think, you know, oh, he's sitting in the chair. I got the cape around his neck. You know, whatever. I'll be back. Man, come on, man. You can't be doing that kind of stuff. And like I said, you know, going outside, smoking weed, coming back, smelling reef on your fingers, whenever they, you lining up their mustache. You know what I'm saying? Your breath smelling like liquor. Come on, man. You can't be doing that, man. This is a profession. And the problem with some of you barbers is, man, y'all treating it like a hustle. This ain't no hustle, man. This ain't the streets. This is a business. And you wonder why a lot of y'all can't make it and you're bouncing shop to shop to shop. See, the thing about it, your customers move to you, okay? The kind of barber you are, that's the kind of clientele you're going to have. If you're inconsistent, your clientele is going to be inconsistent. If you're unprofessional, your clientele is going to be unprofessional. But you know what? When you're sitting around and you ain't making no money, now you want, you know, you want to sit around and get impatient and try to struggle and scrap up customers. It don't work like that, man. It don't work like that. I have been doing this business a long time. And I've been professional for a very long time in this business and been very successful in this business. I get so many phone calls, I have to turn down clients. Okay? That's a great problem to have. All right? So look, man. Step your game up. Quit being unprofessional. First and foremost, get your license. Okay? Get a barber's license. Quit being bootlegged and getting out here making all these excuses. All right? Handle your business. All right? Then after you handle your business... Work on your communication skills with the customers. Now, you're not going to be able to please every customer. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be some customers out here that are some a-holes. You ain't going to be able to please no matter what you ask them, no matter what you say. You're not going to be able to please everybody. But at least be the best you that you can be. Okay? You can't be me. I'm not trying to be you. You can't be all these other people. Be the best person that you can be. Be the best barber. That you can be for your client, man. All right? Put all other crap to the side. You want to see your clientele increase? Treat that customer like you want to be treated. And you'll see a huge difference in your clientele. But like I say, I understand. There's some buttholes out there. Some clients you will not be able to please. I don't care what you do. How great the haircut is. It don't matter if you're on time. It don't matter. Man, it don't matter. It don't matter. But... At least be the best you that you can be so the client can't come up with a lie or an excuse as to why he didn't come back. As long as you know you did the best job you can do, then don't worry about it. If you lose a client, get another one. If the client replaces you, replace him. It goes vice versa. You know what I mean? So, like I said, man, try to be more professional. Be good at your craft, man. Treat these people like what they are. That's money. You treat them people right. All right. So look, man, if you got to this part of the video, I appreciate you watching the video. If you would rate the video five stars, leave a comment at the bottom. Let me know about some of the unprofessional things that you have observed since you've been in the industry. You know, let's let's help. Let's help these guys. Some of them, they can't help themselves, man. They don't know no better because they ain't been taught no better. So if you ain't been taught no better, you can't do no better. So, you know, man, let's let's help these people out, man. Like I said, uh, also, we got a, a social networking site called BarberLife.com. Got over 500 members, got thousands of video, uh, uh, thousands of pictures, hundreds of videos. Go over there, man. Learn a lot about professionalism. Learn about haircutting techniques. 
learn about how to grow your business, be professional, anything you want to learn. I started the site, barberlife.com. So go over there, sign up, check it out. Like I say, leave a comment, rate the video five stars, and go over there and check out barberlife.com. All right, peace.